Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Tuesday, the 23rd of May, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Queen City Girls off to winning start. And in our feature for this evening, St. Paul's Give Nevis Football Fans Rear Treat. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. As a responsible taxpayer, you help to finance free health care at all health centers on Nevis. Thank you for putting country above self. This message was brought to you by the Inland Revenue Department, Nevis. Be a responsible citizen. Well, I'm back and we start with football. The Queen City Girls football team, under the direct supervision of coach Curtis Morton Jr., got off to a winning start in the Elvis Star Brown Women's League on Sunday, 21st May. They engaged Garden Hotspurs and scored as early as the fifth minute off the boot of Carisha Powell. By halftime, they were leading with a scoreline of five goals to nil. The final score was an incredible seven goals to one, with the Hotspurs team managing a consolation goal in the 78th minute. Scoring for Queen City, Carisha Powell scored four goals in the 5th, 19th, 33rd and 66th minutes. Azaika Morton in the 27th minute, Kimoyan Grant in the 39th and Devel Grease in the 63rd. Scoring for Garden Hotspurs, Lakeisha Davis in the 78th minute. The team will next engage their Bath United counterparts at the Nevis Athletic Stadium this coming Thursday, 25th May. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Has anyone ever touched you here, here, or here? Well, these are actually bad touches, not good ones. And so if anyone ever touches you in these areas or anywhere else that makes you uncomfortable, you must say no, then go and tell. Say it with me. Say no, then go and tell. This message was brought to you by the Department of Gender Affairs in collaboration with Probation and Child Protection Services, the Ministry of Health, and the Pan-American Health Organization. Well, I'm back, and tonight football is in the spotlight. SKNFA action moved to the Nevis Athletic Stadium on the evening of Saturday, 28th May. In Game 1, champions St. Paul's engaged Saddlers. Initially, the Saddlers team appeared to be stringing together the better build-ups, but the champions soon came into their own and gave the Nevis fan base a real treat. Led by their dynamic striker, Keith Roy Freeman, who netted a hat-trick, the champion team made waves all around the Saddlers' defense, rendering them virtually powerless. Final score, St. Paul's 4, Saddlers nil. Keith Roy Freeman scored a hat-trick in the 45th, 46th, and 79th minutes, and Kishon Wade converted Converted in the 90th minute. Let's take in some of the action. So, flowing now for St. Paul's, trying to turn. St. Paul's hits the boot of the 28 for Saddlers, but back with St. Paul's. St. Paul's with Saddlers with the touch. Saddlers with still with the touch. Saddlers going forward. Number 20 goes towards the left flank. He's going to try to control. He has it. Trying to shake the two defensive players for St. Paul's. And the whistle finally goes. We haven't heard a whistle for a long time. And Kimball Ward blowing the whistle there. And uh, giving the instructions, clear instructions. The referee's in control of this game. And it's going to be Sadler's free kick. So, the Sadler's have a chance here to try to get one on the tins. He's going to probably try a left booter. Let's see if it's going to be straight towards the goal. Stopped by the St. Paul's defense, but it's driven, stopped again by St. Paul's defense. But I'm um, Sadler's again with. Having a quick word with the winning manager of the St. Paul's team. Just tell us your name. Taju Clark. And, um, First up, I want to know what you thought about our football field. The field was a good field. There is no wrong on the field here in terms of the in-play game and so forth. I mean, 
little holes and so because we know it's a track and field um, um, area so the shop put and so but the field is an alright field. So uh, it compares pretty well with what you have in St. Kitts, that's, that's what I wanted to know. Yes, yes, okay. definitely. And with the game itself now, four goals to nil, were, were you expecting that as the scoreline? As always, we're expecting, uh, we, as a team, we are expected to score as much goals as possible because for one, we have the best striker in the entire entire region. Is that number 16? Yes, number 16, Keep okay. Rifle Man. Yes. yes, that's Keep Rifle Man. So, yeah. anytime we step on the field, we expect to score as many goals as possible. And you're indeed the champion team, right? Yes, back-to-back -back champion team, and we hoping uh, we going driving for a cheap heat this year. And it seems as if you guys are leaving the park. I mean, Bath United is about to play. You're not staying around? Well, we would love to um, stick around and watch the second game. But as you as you can realize that the, um, there's no players for us to actually refresh ourselves and so forth. So, And the players, you know, we need something to eat as well. So we're going to journey back home. Well, all the best. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, that's our package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton, reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.